And let's now shift our focus to China. Its latest worry is smaller banks and the risks they face from the growing debt crisis. Reuters sources suggest that some top banks have increased scrutiny of the asset quality of smaller banks. They have also tightened interbank lending standards for smaller banks. The move comes amid growing worries about the health of the smaller banks, the property sector crisis and ballooning local government debt which make them the weak link in the financial system. But the cautious approach taken by some big banks could lead to capital woes for smaller banks and that's because they have fewer other fundraising options and this could ultimately force Beijing to step in with supportive measures. Smaller banks account for roughly half of the trading volume in the interbank lending market, while the larger Chinese banks mainly use customer deposits to make loans. Smaller lenders have been aggressively borrowing from local rivals to raise funds. The big concern here is that many smaller banks have funded themselves through short-term borrowing. And this poses a collective danger in the event a few of them default on repayment. Smaller banks are closely linked to the financial health of China's rural and semi-urban areas and protecting them is extremely crucial for the economic recovery in the world's second largest economy.